Well, welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we are going to analyze and describe the differences between the Zoom R8, R16, and R24 digital multi-track recorders. Zoom's R series digital consoles are very popular and offer virtually everything you need to record, mix, monitor, and produce your music. The R series line of products, again, consists of the R8, the R16, and the R24. Now, it's important to note that the R series models are a direct competitor to Tascam's Digital Porta Studio line of products. So, what we're going to do in this presentation is we are going to compare each of the R series models features against one another to see what makes them different and for which groups they are designed to work best for. So with this, sit back and relax, grab your tea and coffee and stay with me because we have a lot to cover here. So if you're looking to buy or make a change, you are not going to want to miss a minute of this presentation. Let's start with the flagship or top model of the R series, which is the Zoom R24. The Zoom R24 retails for approximately $499 new and is both a mobile and studio recording solution. It's also possible to record the entire band using its 24 track recording functionality and 8XLR mic inputs. Now you can record straight to SD cards up to 32 gigabytes or you can connect the R24 to a PC via USB and use it as an audio interface to record to a digital audio workstation. Now R24 can also function as a pad sampler that you can sequence with. R24 sampler function consists of 24 built-in voices that can be triggered using eight pads and three bank keys to assign sounds to each track and create loops. In addition, you can use the unit's drum machine and its 400 rhythm patterns to create beats or output a metronome for tempo control. R24 provides a very flexible platform to create studio quality recordings. First, we'll analyze the channel input bus to get a better understanding of how this unit is set up. The other models in the R series are set up basically the same way, so this is a good place to start. At the top of your screen, we have the channel input. This is a combo XLR and mono quarter inch input jack. What follows is the Hi-Z switch. This is a high impedance mono input switch. You would switch this on, for instance, if you were recording a guitar. Below that to the left is the peak indicator LED. This becomes lit when the maximum audio signal input is detected. After that, we have the gain knob, which adjusts the input sensitivity. Below that, we have the level meters, which shows the signal level of an audio signal or patch. And what follows that is the track status button. You would press that repeatedly to change from play to mute to record. If the LED indicator to the left of it is green, that means you're in playback mode. If it's red, you're in recording standby mode. And if you're in mute mode, it would be unlit. Last but not least is your input level faders. Now these adjust the monitoring level of an instrument or device that's plugged into the channel input. Let's look at the Zoom R24's features. The R24 is the top model in the R series and it has every feature offered in this line of products. The unit is a 24 track, 8 track simultaneous recording device. It is built in stereo condenser microphones. It also records directly to uh, SD and SDHC cards up to 32 gig. The unit records mono and stereo WAV files, which is the standard for devices of this type and it has eight balance mic line instrument level inputs using the XLR TRS combo jacks. It also has one low Z input for connection for passive instruments like electric guitar or bass and the phantom power covers plus 24 and plus 48V. 
It also has dual balance quarter inch TRS output jacks and the headphone output has a dedicated volume control. The unit has more than 100 send and return and insert DSP effects, including amp modeling. Uh, for those of you who want to plug in your guitar without an amp and have a go. Uh, internal track bouncing and mix down of multi-track to stereo is included. And when it comes to overdubbing, um, you have it and also you have manual and automatic punch in and out. You have loop playback uh, with, uh, you know, with waveform zoom and user defined start stop points with this unit. Moving on, the unit also includes a 24 voice pad sampler and a drum machine with 160 drum and percussion sounds. You have really detailed um, editing with the unit, uh, which includes manual play or step entry of rhythm patterns with adjustable quantization. Again, you can, you can really drill down on editing with this unit. It also has loop based audio sequencer included um, and it is an eight in two out USB audio interface. It also works with several different uh, DAW software applications. And in order to do this, of course, you're going to need to have control service functionality to use it the way that Zoom intends. So that is supported by Mackie control emulation. So again, we talked about the unit has full mixing and transport controls, uh, which are compatible with Cubase, Logic, and other DAW applications. You can also, Zoom says, um, synchronize two R24s together via USB for 48 tracks of playback and 16 tracks of simultaneous recording. Now, I've heard some people complain that this doesn't work very well. Uh, so if you did get it to work very well, chime in and let us know how it worked for you. Now, again, this is a mobile unit as well, and so it can run on six AA batteries, uh, and it'll give you uh, about 4.5 hours of life on the batteries. Or if you're in the studio, um, the unit comes with an AC adapter that's included, so you can just plug it in, not worry about that. So another thing that's included is the Steinberg Cubase LE DAW software. Next in the series, we'll check out the Zoom R16. The Zoom R16 retails for approximately $399 new and provides 16 tracks of recording and playback. Up to eight tracks can be recorded simultaneously using the standard WAVE audio file format. Now battery operation allows for on location recording and for you to capture your musical inspirations quickly. Connect external microphones or line level sources directly to the R16, or you can use the built-in stereo mic pair for a quicker setup. Plug instruments such as electric guitar or bass directly into the R16 and start recording immediately. When your recording session is complete, use the R16's internal mixer, equalization, panning, and 135 built-in DSP effects. This includes things like amp models, mastering effects, and multi-band compression to create a stereo mix at a professional level. Let's analyze the features of the Zoom R16 and see what makes it different from the R24. R16 has 16 track playback, which is eight less than the R24 and eight track simultaneous recording. The unit is built in stereo condenser microphones and records directly to SD and SDHC cards up to 32 gigabyte. R16 also records 16 and 24 bit at 44.1 KC mono and stereo wave files. It also has eight mic line level inputs on XLR TRS combo jacks. The unit also has one input that can be used for high Z instrument level signals such as electric guitar. And also it has plus 48 V phantom power. Now R24 has plus 24 and plus 48 V phantom power on the six channels. R16 has a dual balance quarter inch TRS output jacks. It also has a headphone output with a dedicated value control. 
R16 has 135 sen return and insert DSP effects, including amp modeling. It has internal track mounting and mixed down of multi-track to stereo and overdubbing of, along with both manual and automatic punch in and punch out much like the 24. Now the R24 has a loop playback with waveform zoom and user defined start stop points. R16 does not have this feature. Along with this, R24 has a 24 voice pad sampler. R16 does not have this feature. R24 has a rhythm machine or drum machine with 160 drum and percussion sounds. R16 doesn't have this. R24 has manual play or step entry of rhythm patterns. And of course, if you know R16 doesn't have that drum machine, um, it naturally doesn't have this feature as well. R24 has a loop-based audio sequencer that integrates the recorder, rhythm machine, and pad sampler. Again, since uh, R16 uh, doesn't have uh, those options or features, it doesn't have any of these additional features. It is an 8-in, 2-out USB audio interface. And it also has high-definition 24-bit 96KZ playback capability with the DAW software. And with this, to use it as Zoom intends, it also has control surface functionality, which is supported by Mackie Control Emulation. Its transport, mixing, and control con uh, functionality uh, is compatible with Cubase, Logic, and Alberton, and other DAWs. Now, again, it's said that two R16s can be synchronized via USB for 32 tracks of playback and 16 tracks of simultaneous recording. Again, if you can get uh, that to work, please chime in and let us know how it worked for you. It is a mobile unit and runs on six AA batteries. Uh, if you are in the studio, you can also use the AC adapter that's included to plug it in and have a go. The unit also comes with the Steinberg Cubase LE DAW software. Next in the R series, we'll check out the baby of the bunch, which is the Zoom R8. The Zoom R8 retails for approximately $299 new, and it packs many of the best features of the Zoom R series recorders into the most compact mobile format loaded with I.O. effects and a looper sampler, <laughs> the R8 provides a flexible platform for musicians on the go. A pair of combo jacks gives you the option of hooking up mic any microphone, basically, that you have, even condenser microphones, or going direct straight to the unit. Also, there's a pair of mics on board, so you don't need to carry any extra gear to record with the R8. Let's analyze the Zoom R8's features and see what makes it different from the R16 and the R24. The R8 is the bottom model in the R series with the most scaled down features of the more expensive models in this product line. R8 has eight track playback, which is eight less than that of the R16 and 16 less than the R24. It has two track simultaneous recording, which is six less than the R16 and the R24. R8 has built-in stereo condenser microphones and records directly to SD and SD8C cards up to 32 gigabytes. The unit records 16-bit and 24-bit at 44.1 KHC and 48 KHC mono and stereo wave files. R8 also has dual mic line instrument level inputs on XLR TRS combo jacks. It also has plus 24 and plus 48V phantom power and dual balance quarter inch TRS output jacks. The headphone output also has a dedicated volume control. R8 has 140 send return and insert DSP effects, including amp modeling. The unit has internal track bouncing and mix down of multi track to stereo. R8 has eight voice pad sampler functionality with adjustable sensitivity. R24 has 24 voice pad sampler with adjustable pad sensitivity and R16 does not have this feature. R8 has a rhythm machine with 160 drum and percussion sounds. R16 does not have this. R8 has manual play and step entry of rhythm patterns with 
adjustable quantization. This allows you to really drill down and have a finer editing of your drum patterns. R16 does not have this feature. R8 has loop-based audio sequencer. R16 does not have this feature. R8 has two in and two out USB audio interface functionality. R16 and R24 have eight in, two out audio, or should I say USB audio interface functionality. R8 has high definition 24-bit 96 KHC playback capability with DAW software. And also to work as Zoom intended, it has to have, or should I say includes, control surface functionality that's supported by Mackie control emulation. It also has mixing and transport controls that support Cubase, Logic, Alberton, and other DAWs. R8 runs on four AA batteries, which makes it mobile. And R16 and R24 run on six AA batteries. R8 has an AC adapter included, so you can plug it in when you're in the studio, and also comes with Steinberg Cubase LE DAW software. In summary, it's important to note that Zoom designed the R-Series units to be compact, mobile digital recorders and mixers first and foremost. The number of channels, tracks, and additional features on each R-Series product targets a specific group or the individual home studio user. For instance, the R24 is for the larger band or single composer who records both on location and in the studio and requires additional built-in tools like a drum machine. Now the R16 serves this purpose as well, but without a drum machine and less bells and whistles. It appears to be designed more to capture demos by small groups and solo artists and to serve as a base production platform. The R8 targets primarily the individual mobile musician and provides a solid mobile platform to capture ideas for people who are constantly on the move. Last but not least, the R series models leave the door open for users to work in either a standalone hardware recording mode or in conjunction with digital audio workstation software applications. Well, my friends, that is a wrap. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now and join our group. We have new videos coming out every 7 to 14 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think about this video and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. While you're here, listen to some of the other music, check out the other videos and playlists. Let us know what you think about that too. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.